Stacy and Jay Spoo, East Coast Radio. I'll be missing you, Puff Daddy, Faith Evans on East Coast Radio. Just before this one, Alan Walker, who am I? 12 minutes after the hour, 4 o'clock, Stacy and Jay Spoo on a Tuesday. In the previous hour, we dealt with uh, the drama, the scandal of parents uh, when mentioning their child's age going via the months, weeks, seconds, minutes, which is quite complicated for a lot of people. If you want to listen to that podcast, that podcast rather, head over to Stacey and Jace with ECR.co.za. But uh, right now we are just having another conversation related to food this time, but as as exciting and as... As groundbreaking. As groundbreaking. As groundbreaking. Mm. And you know what? Not even an original concept, not even an original thought. Technically, this thought belonged to Hannah. Have a listen. Hi, Stacey and Jay Spoo. This is Hannah from Durban. What I do not like is that when my mom gives me something in my lunch for school that's cold and that's supposed to be eaten hot. For example, she gave me a sausage one day and I left it and I gave it to my friend because I do not like cold sausages because they're supposed to be hot. Another example is boiled eggs. I don't like cold boiled eggs. They're supposed to be eaten hot. Hot. They taste so weird when they're cold and they taste so disgusting. Does anybody else have my same problem that hot food isn't <laughs> supposed to be eaten cold? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Stacy and Jay Spoo, East Coast Radio. I just want to say, guys, we, 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 we take ourselves very seriously, right? But we also, we also take the kids... The kids' thoughts, opinion, and experiences very seriously, and I'm not happy about the fact that this kid is not experiencing hot food. Well, Hannah is about <laughs> 120 months old, <laughs> and she's going through it. Yeah, yeah, not like it. Tough. And she is not about that cold sausage life. She is not about that cold boiled egg life. Um, some may say picky eater. Some may say actually no, that's valid. Yeah, mm. because there are certain foods that lose their chaduntas if they're not served at the right temperature. By way of example, Hannah, this may make you feel better. When I was your age, 120 months, I also used to uh, make myself toast in the morning. Yeah. Toast with apricot jam. But I like the butter to melt into the toast. Mm. And then I would pop that into my lunchbox and slap the jam on top. By the time first break came at like whatever, 10 o'clock in the morning, clearly that toast was no longer warm. Yeah. It was a very different experience, Hannah. To this day, you will not catch me eating jam on toast. Traumatized. So maybe let's have a conversation around food that should not be child called. Because I mean, the list is is long. Like under under any circumstance, under any circumstance, this food item must not be consumed if it's cold. Like I, I just want to put it out there: the queen, the king, bunny chow. Like, hurry, cold. Never. Never. Yeah, Why no. would you do that to yourself? No, because how must the flavors pop? Oh, how must the flavors infuse? You want that potato to be hot. Exactly. And you also want to be like, <laughs> yeah. and you can't do oh, that. That's you, you can't eat a bunny chop. <laughs> <laughs> and the bread? <laughs> Yeah, like, well, it depends. It, it no, and then also makes the, it all like... No, but then the bread kind of like pulls away and then the part that's got like the oil yeah. and the sauce kind of stays behind and then yeah. what's happening? You're just eating dry bread and it's cold and now it's hot. So the bunny chow. Yeah. The bunny chow. Yeah. Fair enough. Should there not we be go. Cold. What else though? Mm. Pizza? No. No. <laughs> No. Hot topic. Okay, so here's it in as we as we as we line up with Hannah here because with Hannah we stand. We stand Hannah on the show. What food should you never under any circumstances eat cold? 0617929495. I'm just going to carry on saying cuz it looks like Stacy is uh, engrossed in something. Awa. Awa. He is the only guy who can get away with saying a lot of nothing in a very nice way and people will be like that's a joke. I mean technically did you not just describe our entire profession? <laughs> Stacey and Jason. We can get away <laughs> with doing a lot of nothing. And people are like, this is amazing. And right now we're talking about uh, what foods you can't eat uh, cold. That's that's, well, that's right up the alley. Okay, so Ruan, who is um, our social media king here at East Coast Radio, he even sent a message. He's yeah. listening to the show saying fries. Fries should not be eaten cold. Oh, he goes yes. on to say, in case nobody comments on that. I mean, that's obvious though. A lot of people would say fries, not cold. You have never seen... Not I mean, cold. Have, have you never had like a a big night out and then thought you'd grab a little something something on the way to watch someone try and revive a fry at two o'clock you in the morning? You can use an air fryer, the oven. You can fry them again. It still won't. The, be the sheer same. desperation to have. It's sad actually. The OG fry yard, but I mean that's why as you collect mm-hmm. the takeout, the fries never make it to the house. And yes, your partner does want fries, so just get an extra container because we, we can't be having these arguments. Imagine fighting over cold fries. Hmm. 
boring, sad, very uh, sad. And uh, Nick said something earlier. He said pizza, and yeah, I, I felt, want I felt to disagree with that. I felt like, attacked. Pizza? I no, well, the because next day, you knew you were being absolutely insane. Yeah, dude, like, come on. <laughs> I mean, ridiculous. I have had cold pizza in the past. It's not bad, right? It's not great. Mm. What? How do you revive Guys, you'd much rather have it hot, let's be fair. No, no, fair enough. Yeah, well, but I'm yeah, saying, yeah, but, no, but yeah, cold, yeah. cold pizza, cold pizza can still do the things, actually. Just eat it all at one time, guys. <laughs> okay, on the line, who do we have? What a fraughty. Uh, Shadeen from Toti, how what are attitude? you? I'm good, and you? No, 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 we're good. We just actually asked Nick to leave because I, I, I can't, yeah, I can't deal with this nonsense yeah, so, so early on a Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. Uh, so tell us, what, in your opinion, should never be eaten cold? Pasta, mac and cheese. Agreed. That's just yeah, that's not fine. You want acceptable. the cheese to be melting. <laughs> also, like, have have you not found that any kind of pasta, well, especially if it's a cream-based sauce, it just congeals, and then it exactly. tastes like absolutely nothing, whereas you whack it in the microwave for 90 seconds. Because, see now... Are, are we are we the same, babes? Are, are, are you a, a nuker of food? Do you throw things in the microwave that needs to burn your mouth? That for you is is like piping yes. hot, or are you a warm as fine girl? No, as hot as possible. See, not you and I you same. Go- it needs to <laughs> it needs to now have come apart. The cheese must you pull it from the fork to your mouth. You know what I mean? They, yes, the sauce must be saucing. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Okay, so, thank, thank, thank you so much, Shadeen. Have a nice one. Thank you. There thank you, you go. Okay, so then, right. We want to continue this conversation because we want to get the full. Scope, right? Like foods that should not be consumed cold. Please let us know. 0617929495. You uh, have anything else you'd like to add, Stacey? I just, I, I cannot believe that Nick has put us in eyes like this today. Yeah, I mean, when you say pizza, obviously the best way to chow it is when it's hot, but like cold is not bad as well. I'm sorry, did you put your microphone <laughs> on to continue this nonsense? <laughs> we obviously understand it as grown so, people, but to put us on the spot, I, like just, that. I just need to go and have a word with Nicholas. Everybody hold, please. Can you, Grace? Uh huh, uh-huh. Strangers. East Coast Radio in this hour inspired by Hannah's debacle very stressed Hannah is I want to say 9 or 10 years old mm, cute little baby she's opening up that lunchbox she is seeing a one time sausage she cold. is seeing one times boiled egg and they are not being even not even room temperature they're cold she's very distressed and wants to know why why are we eating things cold when they're supposed to be hot so as we support the youths of the South Africa guys in this election year because they are the future we're asking you which foods should never be eaten cold. Listen, if you do enjoy eating cold food, I just want to say, like, probably check with your doctor. If it starts uh, giving you cramps, bloating, or, like, puffiness, then it's definitely not good for your system or your gut. So, no, please. Well, Samantha commented on this Facebook post, yeah. actually, saying um, a pie. It will give you heartburn for days. Yeah, don't do that. If you started to feel the symptoms, don't do that. Cold food only applies to certain people. So and certain, certain stages of life. And certain <laughs> stages of life. On the line, we have Troy. Welcome to the show. Troy, how you doing? How's it, JP? How you doing? Hey, man, we're good. We just want to help uh, Hannah feel like she's not alone. Uh, what's the vibe with cold food? What should not be child cold, according to you? Oh, absolutely not mashed potatoes. <gasps> Okay. Mashed potatoes have to be I'm warm, indeed. have to be creamy. Yes. No but, um, more, the minute it's cold, it's fluffy, it's dry. It's, it's, it's just a big no to me. You revive mashed potato, hey? It's not like uh, chips. You see, now, Troy, I am imagining you stationed over yeah. a bowl of mashed potatoes, like in some Grey's Anatomy-esque kind of setup. You know what I mean? Scrubs <laughs> on, yeah. like, scalpel. Like, <laughs> I need 50 <laughs> bowls of something. Like, can Give we get a heat yeah. for a bowl? No, because... Uh, half a block of butter, Jeff, yeah. and exactly. yes. milk of milk. No yeah. amount of Lurpak can save us now. Um, I, <laughs> no, I not at all. I feel like potatoes. Potatoes in general of any variety. I think that seems to be a common denominator here. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. no. Troy, we've done good work today. If anyone comes yeah. at you, be like, ah, uh, please let me rest. I've solved the world's problems. <laughs> Stunning. So Shut thank up, you for okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much. There Bye, babes. There you go. But what, what, what? Besides pizza, right? What can you, what can you really enjoy cold? I mean, like as a food that was once, you know, cooked, but now is cold. What, what, what foods can you really delve into? Be like, yeah, this is good. Peas. Ooh, Ooh, that's not bad. That's yes, not bad. Actually, yeah, that's yes. not bad. Peas. Yeah, uh, you like sprinkle a, a little bit, of, uh, sprinkle a bit of salt. There, yeah. Roast beef. Mm. Are you just going to go through the whole Sunday lunch now? Mm. Sandwich. Mm. Okay, so actually, now that you say that, you could take your entire Christmas dinner, pop it on a piece of bread, and it's good. 
But I always keep the potato, unfortunately. Troy and I was going to have to have a, a warm <laughs> yeah. potato. But I can go with a cold gammon. Yeah, well, yeah, that's not bad at all. Because then it becomes a cold meat, which is a whole different section in Willie's. You know what I mean? So that the cold meat stands alone. It's an entire business. An it industry. is. Literally. It's an literally. industry. <laughs> yeah. All right, KZN. Uh, we're going to wrap up this conversation around uh, which food should not... Not be consumed cold. Don't try people. We don't have a. Don't try people. Mm -mm. What does that? What does that mean? Don't don't, try. don't come at them with cold versions of what they're about no, to I thought, say. I thought you meant like, <laughs> don't try and call people. Well, that too. <laughs> we want them a little more heated. <laughs> Malva pudding should never be consumed cold. It's a no, no, no. I personally think hot chips should not be eaten cold. That is the most disgusting thing ever. That is why they are called hot chips. Guys, oats and crumbed anything. Hey, Stacey and Jace Boo. My name is Sheng Yiwe. The food that you must not eat when cold is usu. Hello, Auntie Stacey and Uncle Gay. And what I think you must not eat cold is Papa. Thank you. Stacy and Chase Boo. Weekdays 3 to 6 p.m. East Coast Radio.